trained with the likes of Tim Thomas and some very good fighters as well. So she's had the experience, but here comes from the Reaper Gym, Danny Full. The concentration on her face knows she's coming to fight here. Well, these two young girls just sealing off the ring here in true Thai style. Bless the top ropes. Punch out any demons in the corners. Look up to the sky for guidance. Now you're going to get a brief staring down with the Moncons on with your referee Sean Boland bringing these two young talents to the centre of the ring. Yasmin Nasri does not blink, Alex. Watch this. Listen, she I was watching blink. Danny Fall fight in Birmingham on um, last man standing about three, four weeks ago when Frank Huggers made his return. Yep. This girl was this girl was on the undercard, Danny, and. If you're telling me Yasmin doesn't stop, well, wait till you see this girl. This could be fight of the night. This could be like horse racing commentary here, ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> I tell you what, there is a furious strike rate with these young girls, when they're, yeah. and especially in this weight category as well. They're just 50 kilos, of course. Jasmine's got a fantastic reputation. I've not seen her. You've seen Jasmine. Yep, I've many seen times, Danny yeah. Fight. And from, from, I mean, we could be wrong, you never know, this is the fight game. Tim Thomas a lot as well, you know, she's, uh, yeah. she's come from that stable. And well, you know, Reaper, Reaper Jim, there with Steve Broom, and um, I know Dean James is very much involved in that gym. Yep. Helps Steve with some of the fighters, etc. So, this should be a fantastic fight. Yeah, Here we go. up to be that way. Oh, well, Pro-Am, I love Pro-Am rules as well, Alex. Yeah, because I love it gives them. the novices a chance to use the full rules. I... I don't want to get political in a commentary box, but CMB class to me should be pro am. This is how the girl, this is how fighters should be laying it down. I agree totally. Don't Art of eight limbs on display, ladies and gentlemen, for you here from these two talented young females. Look at the core strength there, brilliant by Danny as she threw the kick, was managing to hold the block up after the kick to yep. ensure the counter didn't come. Nice, working each other out nice and early, like, well, like seasoned professionals do, Alex. But these young girls are... You can just tell they're both well-educated in Thai, can't you? Yep. Good response from Nasri there, just... For a very good right kick at the end of the hand combination, which scored into the body. Both girls heavily tattooed in so the body, sharp. and I'll tell you what, so sharp that, these that two take, girls. That takes something in itself as well. This is going to be a great fight. I put my neck on the line and tell you all now, this here is going to be a great fight. It's shaping up to be that way. The feeling each other out, as you said, Danny, in this first round. Lovely well-timed kick there, just caused yeah. Jasmine off balance. 
stepping backwards and kicking is an art in itself as well, isn't it, Alex? It really is, because you've got to maintain your balance. And the chances are, if you can do it, she's just done it again. She was on the back foot, she managed to land the right head kick. She's fantastic to watch. Well, if anyone's watching at home, think Muay Thai and fight sports are not for girls you could not be more wrong and I will prove to you right now by watching the screen in front of you Danny this division is absolutely flourishing let me tell you the the top girls in this division Dakota Amy Penny these two girls and and, and there's numerous other ones with you know Emma Bragg and and uh, Jade Sandland there's so many girls in yep. this division who are talented, then you've got the girls up in Scotland, Jennifer Gallagher, Gabby yeah, Norton, good Gabby good Norton. Yep. Um, there's a girl in Leeds, I forget her name, unfortunately, um, I think she fights out a bad company, and um, Andy housen has got a girl in this division as well, it's absolutely fantastic, the 50 kilo pro division for females is brilliant. And you go abroad Alex as well, and countries like Spain are absolutely flush with girls of that weight category as well. Yep. And Italy, it could be really, really shaping up to be a very interesting category. Is a girl at her fittest at 50 kilos? Is that the case? Would you say, Alex? Because we know Julie Kitchen was heavier than that. And the girls we know who are really good in the UK. I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think, I, I think it's your frame as well. These girls yep. are naturally smaller. Julie Kitchen was in phenomenal shape, yet four to six to three, but yep. she didn't look in. She, because of her height and her natural frame. She wouldn't know. And as he's been spun round there like Sonic the Hedgehog with that kick, and uh, she's got her eye back on the prize, but she as does Yasmin look very missed, good, Danny Fogg. As Yasmin missed, Danny doubled up a kick to the back and then the back of the head. Yep. Phenomenal talent. Yasmin has really impressed me. You were right about her. She doesn't stop. She's always looking for the next shot. But I think she's met her match. This is a great fight. Great punch to the body there from Nasri. Just fainted up the left and then went down there. It's a good skill. It's a good contest, it really is. This is what the crowd wants to see. No elbows as of yet, Alex. No, I thought the first attempt there as Yasmin tried to pull the left arm down of, uh, yep. of Danny and throw the it right elbow over the, the top. The mind, wasn't it? Yeah. Definitely in the back of the mind. Don't forget these girls are fighting under pro and rules, which is literally Muay Thai rules. Where you can elbow and knee to the head, but you have the elbow protectors on to take the sharpness off the elbows. So if you're squeamish about blood, you might be a little bit more protected in this fight. And pro am is fantastic for the youngsters, it really is. It gets them using all the tools. That was an awesome right body kick by Danny Four. Yep. Right under the left arm. Oh, evasion and a great shot as well. This girl's good, isn't she, Alex? Very good. The two of them are two talented girls, Danny. Constantly tapping the lead leg, Nasri, like she wants to push kick with it. Look, that tapping that leg and getting that balance is only good if you're going to utilise your push kick on the leg and body to keep your distance. It keep is, but it's keep it. Throw it. Yeah. As she's tapping that lead leg in, sometimes to land that elbow, she used to hop in and throw the left elbow, maybe. Everything for these corner teams to work out for their fighters. And as she's sharper with the punches for me, Alex. She is, she's much better Big with the Big knees as well. And she's been dumped down by a very relaxed Danny Fall, who seems to have a, an absolute suitcase of skills that she can pull out. Even that, even, even that moving backwards from Danny there, did you see Danny as she moved backwards? Yeah. She stepped southpaw back into water docks. So such a controlled movement. So well scored. The standard's going up, isn't it? The standard's phenomenal in this fight. And you know, even when she misses, she makes it look like that, like she's still in control of the shot. You know, Alex, there'll still be 
there'll still be that old man back home who switches on now and says, oh, it's girls fighting. And, uh, with a sigh. And I'll tell How you what. How do you turn them all, Danny? How do you turn them over? Well, well, you let them see fights like this and see how talented they are, how hard they hit. There's still people in this country who don't want to see it. Yeah, that's right. Well, you've got the anti-brigade for absolutely anything now, Alex, but the only way you can answer them is by putting together quality shows like this for the, the Royal Combat League. The Royal Combat League and is phenomenal, well isn't matched it? and get good officials like Sean Boland, what you have in here now, and let people do what they do best. Because there's people out there taking drugs, drinking, doing all sorts of bad misdemeanors, Alex, and these guys aren't doing any of that. Again, mixing that kick up low and high, Nasri. It's a hard one for these judges to score, actually, in my book. It's a very, very well contested fight. It is very well contested. Yeah. I, I personally have, have got Danny winning the first two rounds. Yep. I thought she was a lot stronger. She opened up well. And um, I thought Yasmin just come back into it in that round. Half a step and a good bit of evasion, isn't it? And yeah. Nasri kicks very low, though, as well. Very low. Oh, and as I say, up comes the body kick. Oh, double score, treble score there from Danny Fall. Down and she Danny is, Danny is running now. away with this fight now. She Danny is. is running away with Nasri this fight. Hit the floor heavily there, but look, she, she doesn't look phased and she doesn't look hurt, Alex. She doesn't, but she looks out of ideas. Yep, yep, I agree with that. Well, you're out even of the ideas. boxing, the defence is fantastic. Oh, elbow there from Fall as she stepped in, but Nasri was very quick on the retreat to get out of range. Nasri's got respect after she got dumped to the floor there, Alex. Have you seen that? She hit the floor very hard there. She did. It's taken a bit of sting out of her. There's instructions coming from the corner, but the girls aren't following the instructions from either corner here, Alex. They've got their own agenda in there, but... Did you see the way she stepped back? Stepped back once into southpaw, stepped back again, back into a normal stance. And the defence from the boxing is fantastic. That's how she's able to counter so well. She's a really nice girl, Nasri, and she, she needs to work now. She needs to get nasty, doesn't she? She needs to, because right now she needs a big score for me. She does. I think She's Danny Fool's falling round, away with his fight. Yep. She does, yeah. Well, here you go. There's your answer, ladies and gentlemen. I asked the questions that you're thinking back home. All answers can be given to you right now if you're watching. But this is a hard fight now for Nazri. This is where she's taken to a little bit of a dark place. And she needs to put the lights on and find out where to go. The balance of Danny Fall on the back foot when she was ploughed into the ropes, Dan. She has done, she, do you know what, it's an absolute masterclass, Robin. Yep, I said it earlier in the fight, Alex, I was impressed with her kicks on the back foot as well, because it's not an easy skill. Look how she's balancing on one leg and waiting. Wow. Doing wow. the kick, yep. Nazri knows she's been in the fight here. She's going, though. She's going. She'll never lie down, this girl. She'll oh, no, always she's, come she's, forward. She's got massive heart. She keeps coming. She keeps looking for what she can do next. She's just, she, she's just outclassed at the moment, unfortunately. 
Well, fortunately for Danny Fall, that is, she is outclassing her opponent. And uh, Nasri lives and breathes Muay Thai. She really does. She's a tremendous athlete in the sport. And this is the first time I've seen Danny Fall fighting live. And I'm really, really impressed with her, Alex. Everything you said about her when you saw her last time is all displayed in front of me right now. Look, on the back foot, so comfortable, waits on one leg for what seems like an eternity, then throws the push kick when the time is right. These are fantastic skills. Good hands from Nasri. Yeah, Nasri's really put She's back Great up against the rope. Good score, good score on the knee as well, Nasri. Hats off to Yasmin Nasri, yeah, she's, she's really not going for it. She's not hurting Fall. They're great skills, she's not hurting Fall though. Danny Fall looks like a strong girl. The way she just threw that straight left. Get in, counter, the kick wasn't there, so found the uppercut. I'm really, really impressed, Alex. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, was one of the best female fights you'll see this year. I have enjoyed every second of that fight, Alex. That very, was very tremendous. worthy of a ringmaster's title, I'd oh, say. De definitely. I tell you, Danny Fool's got that in my book. She's got that. But Yasmin Nasri, a good bit out of ideas for me at some points, Alex, but laid it down for everyone. She really did. Thank you.